Right you are, let's talk about the horse. It's been a massive 12 months uh, for him. He's raced 15 times since uh, September 14th. Uh, what do we think of Right You Are? Uh, first ball, call, first Mornington Cup winner to win a Melbourne Cup if he does it. Um, that'll be some sort of performance. I'm concerned that he's had 26 career starts yet to run beyond 2,400 metres. So um, there's a big query there. I think he's a consistent, good galloper, good jockey, good stable. So he ticks a lot of boxes there. But just concerned he'll run out a strong 3,200 metres. He'll put himself into the race. He'll be there at some stage, but he'll find a few better. He turned the corner first in the Caulfield Cup and then just just got run down by elite horses. But uh, did you like the Caulfield Cup performance at all? Oh, I think it was it was a decent effort against the the pattern, the way the race uh, developed. I thought high pressure race. It was a high yeah. pressure race, and and of those that were sort of in that that first few, he was probably the best of them. Um, uh, interesting little stat that I put in my preview that he's the first horse in 61 years whose sire and dam were both the Melbourne Cup runners as well. So, wow. so you think and, and like a dean. He's showing off now, Hook. Uh, you know, <laughs> I've got to find. I've got to find something. I've got to find something to fill 10,000 words. Don't yeah. I? <laughs> um, but no, look. I think um, I, I have queries about him at two miles too. Um, for me, I think he's probably fringe top 10. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy to let him go around without me. Fringe top 10 on the Caulfield Cup run. I thought. Uh, as you touched on, his effort on speed was as good as as good as good anything there and he can put himself close enough and, and whack away. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.